What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, I just got back from Planet Zorn. Very nice planet, lovely planet, full of friendly Linux-based operating systems based on Zorn, of course. All right, well, maybe it's not Planet Zorn, but I love the wallpaper. I am on a quest to find for you guys the best Linux replacement for your Windows XP computer. Of course, Windows XP is set to retire. Uh, this year, this year I believe officially in April. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what we have. Now I will not be installing this, really no need to. I'm just running this inside your virtual box. As I stated, love the wallpaper. This is Zorin Linux, the core, number eight. This is the release candidate, not quite the final, but I do believe it's polished enough for you to try it if you so choose to. All right, let's dive in and take a look right-clicking as usual you want it to change the wallpaper as you would in say Windows just right-click click background and you have some options here now this has some graphics effect uh, yeah, the graphics effects built in running a little slow that is to be expected in a virtual box but once you do a full install this will run full speed this is the wallpaper these are your wallpapers here I think I'll leave it the way it is I just love the default wallpaper Okay, from the bottom right, click the little spoke wheel. Of course, you can shut down or reset. Probably here, if you are new, I would take a look at the shortcut for Zorn OS Help. This will probably um, take you to their web page, and it is asking you to make Google Chrome the default browser. Why not? I love this browser for both Zorn uh, Linux, for any Linux really, and for Windows. And this will take you to the forum where you can find some help besides taking a look at my channel. All right, moving along, of course, the time and date, the sound menu shortcut. This will give you, of course, the sound settings with the music player integration. And we have a music player. Well, I guess it's called music. Duh. Now, let's see what this looks like. I like Rhythmbox myself, but this looks simple enough. Let's see. Uh, right clicking does nothing. Now, of course, I have no music in this. I'm not, I haven't installed it. All right, search music, clicking the little spoke wheel. Okay, this will give us preferences, such as copy imported files to library, show notifications. All right, well, this is simple enough for a Windows user. Uh, let's see, is this what I think it is? Hey, cool, a graphic equalizer. Very nice. All right, so for all you Windows users, there is your music player. All right, your email accounts, your online accounts internet connection of course my English keyboard this is the uh, Avant 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 window navigator 0.4.2 this is customizable you right click again go to preferences and you can change uh, the orientation of this such as from the bottom to the top I'll just keep it at the bottom for now you can change the size of this by adding or subtracting pixels and so on and so forth. Let's see, Task Manager, Applets. This way you can add extra applets or shortcuts to the panel, such as a shutdown function here or a system monitor. You have themes, different color themes here. You have advanced. Probably if you are new to this, I would leave this in default. No, not necessary to really, uh, yeah, I would say it's not necessary to fiddle with this. Okay, well, the music player shortcut I showed you. Just ignore this popping up here. That's the um, virtual box uh, settings there. All right, the file manager again, self explanatory here. You can change the orientations of your folders and some preferences here change the size of the icons again self-explanatory okay Firefox oh, sorry not not Firefox but the chromium web browser and the start button the Z or the Zorn menu again similar to what you've seen before or something that looks familiar very easy to navigate through and to let's take a quick look at this accessories 
we can click back here games graphics uh, let's see GIMP image editor very good for both Linux and Windows internet Thunderbird mail I use let's see the Zorn web browser manager okay if you don't like Google Chrome you can install either Firefox Opera Midori I like Firefox and Google Chrome and Opera for both Windows and Linux all right, Office. This probably has yeah LibreOffice by default as well. It should sound and video. And let's see, OpenShot video editor. If you plan on doing a, a lot of intensive video editing, also take a look at Kden Live. System tools. Let's look at the yeah Zorn Look Changer. Let's say you want this to look different instantly. How about GNOME? Two or genome two, click OK, and there you go. You instantly have a new look. This is probably more similar to something maybe in Windows XP. Maybe look at the software center. This is where you could browse and download software, all from one spot, kind of like one big repository of software. All right. Simple enough, you have categories here at the left, accessories. You can go to sound and video. And you can browse here. Again, self-explanatory. I'll get out of that. Let's go back and change this to the default uh, setting here. Let's go to the look changer. Yeah, let's go back to the Windows 7 look. Again, it's running, running slow, that is normal, so don't panic if you wanted to install this, it's going to run a lot faster, and I love the little uh, effects here on the desktop. If you right click, let's go to preferences, you can even change how the launcher looks. This is the default here. Oh, let's see, let's take a look at a couple, how about the oh, Lancelot? Click OK, and we need to restart. Eh, let's try it again. It didn't work. Click like that. Okay, I think it's good now. There we go. Applications, computer, again, a different look. This is also giving you a search bar here at the top. And there you go. Type in music, and I got music lock, log out, and shut down functions here. Let's try one more. Let's try a different look here. Hopefully it'll work again. Running in a virtual machine. Let's see. I theme. Okay. Yes. Click to restart. Click it again. Hey, there you go. A different look altogether. Instantaneous. I kind of like this. Okay, click again. You can right click. I think you get the picture here. I won't go in into any more of this of the Zorin menu. So once again, this really looks and feels terrific, even in, even in a virtual machine, which is one of the safest ways to test a Linux operating system. It's running, if not zippy, smooth. Again, once you do a full install, this will fly, and you will love the desktop effects, assuming that you have a graphics card with 3D acceleration and most new most new computers even some of the older ones um, have that if it doesn't if it doesn't have 3D uh, uh, 3D graphics don't worry about it this will run just fine as long as you have I would say at least a gigabyte of RAM maybe 512 but with a gig of RAM I think you will be just fine so it seems like once again we have some good stuff from the team at Planet Zorn this is def definitely something I would put at the top of my list for a Windows XP replacement. If you haven't, uh, please vote again for the, or not vote again, but if, if you haven't, please vote for the best Linux operating system for uh, Windows users. I'll have links below in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Zorin future. Ciao.